What's going on, people? Football Fan TV, Tony here. Manchester City 4, Arsenal 1. <laughs> Manchester City 4, Arsenal 1. And uh, yeah, it's all over. Nothing to fight for. We live to fight next season. Um, we had a lot of expectations, but then after Liverpool, after West Ham, after Southampton, it's all done. And uh, I think we live to fight next season. There's nothing else here. Dranix is here, I know. Very happy. Yeah, talk to me about the game. Thoughts on the game. My new name is Haaland. Call me Dranix Haaland. I'm the beast. I will handle Arsenal with one hand. One hand. Okay. That's Very excited okay. about the game. It was a very, very, very exciting game by the way if it's anything that goes wrong your, your neighbors will have your back that's why we always need to support your neighbors and i was very happy man good win as we expected <laughs> so you are you are Holland now talk to me at least Holland scored two goals against arsenal in two games he scored three goals against when you in one game <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it doesn't change the narrative. They beat you. You bought the, the league. You it, cannot it be on top okay. of, of. You cannot be on top of the table. The whole season just to give it away. Are you Akimi? Why do you write your oh, oh, your will in your mother's name? You everything in your mother's name. Man City is your mother. Do you know? Do you know the greatest bottle <laughs> Please tell you me. You know the greatest bottle. But, Manchester United bottled the league eight points ahead of Man City with four games to go. History FC. Now you're becoming History FC. We're talking no, about I'm just giving you like the greatest. I'm Bocca giving you. I'm giving you. I am giving you the greatest <laughs> bottler. I am giving you the greatest bottler. And this is a Martinelli, fact you don't want to Martinelli take. Martinelli had. Martinelli had eleven touches of the ball. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay because Sorry. because because now we've we've seen we've seen that Man City is on another level. We accept that. But Martinelli, uh, Man City came with a plan of neutralizing this game, just like how Guardiola did in the first game. He neutralized Saka, and that was the plan. Coming into this game, we knew Martinelli was the guy on fire. He just had to kill him, and that's uh, it. It wasn't about Martinelli. Arsenal has been performing poorly three draws consecutively. Three draws. It's not about Arsenal muting anyone. It's just that Arsenal has been poor. Uh, In the Patty three games Arsenal has played, what has Martinelli Patty, been doing? Martinelli has been very poor. Even the third goal was his own mistake. Everyone is blaming uh, holding. Yes, you could, you could, you always look for something to blame. Most Arsenal fans blame uh, holding. But I, I feel like holding actually made one error for the first goal that you defended him. In the in the, in the WhatsApp group, he made an that error for the Haaland mistake. goal, not the first, not the no, first no, no, goal, no, 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 no. not the first he goal. The last Look man. at Haaland's last Haaland, goal. He, Haaland left him. He was the last man. He was supposed to either put him down, get a yellow card, because you can't let him just run like that. He was. Bro, let me tell you, something. you are a bro. Our our, our our main uh, central defender. You cannot let Haaland go like that. What are you going to do? How are you going to hold him? Are you done? Can I do, can I say now? Yes, can I say my point I, now? I'm asking you a question. I ask you a question. That's when you can talk. Uh-huh. I'm the okay, ask here. me the question again. Ask me the question again. Ask me the question again. You're not listening. You see what this is problems. Kari, I was saying, how would you let the last man let leave you and go in front of you? How are you going to hold him? Holding was not the last man. If you saw that 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 the positioning well, he was not the last man. In that position, yes, was I would the last blame. Man. I would in blame him. He did not put him man. down. Yes, I would blame him. He did not put Haaland down. But did you see how Haaland took that ball? How his hold up play was good and how he turned and passed that ball? Of no, course, no, no, no. Yes, he's too I'm good. You used yes, that. the mistake. The mistake I would, I, I, I would, I would blame him for 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 making is not putting Haaland down, but. You also see how Haaland held that ball. His other player was good. He turned, passed the ball. What happens is, after that ball was passed to De Bruyne, what, what were the other defenders doing? He fooled them that he was going to go to the other run. The defenders almost went that side. He ended up coming this side. And it was just an easy thing. Bro, the, the, don't blame, I'll blame holding for the last... 
Oh, the same holding for the last goal, not the first one. But anyway, okay, banter again. aside, banter aside, yeah? Man City is levels above, so I would accept they have they have taken the trophy. We've bottled it. Uh, at first, we didn't have the expectation, so they put us in a position where but we could hope. We hoped a little bit, but then, actually, I had hope after the Liverpool draw. But then the things that killed it totally, it was the the Southampton game and then the West Ham game. It totally killed everything. If we had won uh, two of those games and we lost this game today, we would be somewhere still on the rider. But now Man City has two games at hand. They're not going to lose any points. So it's gone. I, just I, like I, that. I, I, we'll go and get next season. I, I, I think for me, I would say uh, Ateta should also understand that his players People like Pat, Pat is not performing. Lately, he's not performing. He's making a lot of mistakes. Um, the midfield is not strong like it used to be. Um, everyone is saying, ah, we're losing because of Saliba. I, I think we shouldn't zero it down to only Saliba. I think it's the whole team. There's a fatigue problem going on and inexperience also with the players. This team has really done well. Being the youngest team in the Premier League, they have played very good football. They have tried their best. To contain every pressure that has been coming their way week in and out but i just feel like uh it was that time uh, where maybe they needed some experience in the team you know to uplift them but they they have really done great apart from banter I, i'm actually very proud of, of us you know, where they have come from and where they have headed it's been an amazing journey for them Second position is not a very bad place. They have done well. Real, they have really done well. Second position in this stage. Try again next season if you want to sign more people. Well, Mr. Liverpool, what up? <laughs> come so, for um, me. you've come for me, yes. You you have me here. Go on, boys, go on. So, um, I think next season, uh. We just need uh, more more squad players and good players in the team. Look at uh, Man City. They put off Bernardo and they brought in Mahrez. They put off Grealish, they brought in Foden. They put off De Bruyne, they put in uh, Alvarez. So you can really see it's levels. And this team has the experience. They have done this thing. The and they're on another the level, really. Is, the depth is big. Depth and, is also, and also, one thing, one thing I realized with City was, one, I think uh, the defenders, what they have, uh, they have not noticed is uh, Haaland has changed this game. Haaland is coming from the midfield. He can either assist or score. You, you saw the chances he missed. If he converted all of them, trust me, you guys are going to be in trouble today. But thank God Alan, that you're going to be in trouble. Ramsdale, Ramsdale deserves a round of applause. Look at that guy is bad. The guy is sick. I think I think uh, Guardiola always gives him a free roll against us. And even in the first leg, it was more of a false nine and a ten. De Bruyne was actually the one who was really so much in front. Just you saw how De Bruyne scored those two goals, and they were both assisted by Haaland. Uh, he really his link up play was good. They say Jesus' link up play is good. He was nowhere in the game. Haaland really showed him how to do the link up, and yeah, it was Viking, Vikings mode activated, and he got his goal. He really deserved it. But, now that's that's the best. But if you watch the last two games of uh, of, of the Champions League, whereby they, pay, they played Bayern, he was doing the same thing, playing the free role. Actually, lately, most of their games, that's what he does. Because yeah, that, that way, the defenders open up for him. You get, he's not, he's not marked like, he's not the box guy anymore. He's the guy who has pace. That's why he's put in that position of midfield. You pass and then you run. Then the midfielder can he pass has, for you from the side. He has pace and energy, and that's why I go back to the first goal, where he bullied holding, and he went in. First of all, his hold-up exactly. play was good, and I then he turned and passed the ball. No, yo, yes, that's you blame holding, but give give Haaland his credit as well. Give him his props. He's I'll, so I'll good. Look, look, he's good, right? He's good. But you see, now, <laughs> Haaland cannot bully Wad Van Dijk like that with his energy. He can't. He informs someone he can throw around and play with and person such a person, you as a defender, they will blame you because that's your work. You're supposed to tackle or find ways of getting the ball. It's your and work. One, it's not that the guy is just good and you should let him go. And one thing, 
gives labor it's called labor that uh Saliba. Aha, could play that game uh holland will disappear in that in, 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 uh, that, that is very true yeah that is very true you know rob holding was giving um holland um, kevin De Bruyne a lot of space you, you, you know the reason why Arsenal was beaten Arsenal was beaten because um they were giving um kevin De Bruyne and um, holland to run the show okay so the most important player to all day was uh kbd if, if, if you shut down kbd you remember the game against uh, Manchester united mm. KBD, um great called kbd and disappeared from the game so uh, i think the castle need was uh, not getting a person to follow up uh, follow up uh, kbd because it was i think good. i think i think i think ateta just doesn't have maybe uh that that you know you need that badness in the team eh? he should have done uh what Mourinho does and says okay herrera you're going to be on hazard today be on that guy just like what Ten Hag did and put fred on kdb in in the, the game the one at old trafford and then ateta was also i don't know if it's arrogance or what i many people have asked for maybe kiran to start the game and put up the defense you go ordinary go old school have a traditional uh wing a uh, wing back have a left back who is going to be running down that wing and support the, the, the winger who is ahead but he's stuck ahead with zinchenko you are going to manchester city you're not going to possess them they are going to possess you you don't need zinchenko to invert so it will i think he should have gone with uh with 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 with, with tne and then he should have maybe played trossard as a eight other than jaka or he should have started uh Georgino because then Georgino came in the Arsenal looked a little bit stable in the midfield because party has been having stinkers like the last three four games party has not been in the game so I I think Ateta's maybe I think it's arrogance a little bit also has, has costed him a little bit even Saka Saka has not been good and you see Nelson's cameos whenever he comes in he adds something into the game he is much better and I don't know why he delays removes Saka so today I'm not blaming anyone. I am just saying Manchester City is so good and they deserve it. We've bottled it well and good, but Manchester City deserve it. Now, now one thing you see now um, as a coach when you're playing a good coach like uh, you're playing a good team like uh, Manchester City, um, you need to identify uh, the best players in that team. I, I can give you um, back in the days when we were watching. Um, AC Milan? No, Inter Milan versus um, Barcelona. Was it AC Milan or Inter Milan when they won 3 1 against Barcelona? Was it, in, was it in the Champions League? Yeah, it was in the Champions League. It I was, remember uh, that game exactly. Was it where Diego uh, Milito was on fire? Uh, Jose Moreno was the coach by then. Yeah, yeah. You see Jose Moreno's tactics of, of, of covering up uh, Lionel Messi. Okay? Messi was the bad guy in the game. You know? So the most important thing is uh, getting a way of blocking up uh, the bad guy in the game. Because now the moment you shut K- KBD, the game is dead. Because this guy Holland can be uh, can be handled by any defender. If Salaba was in that game, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure um, Holland was not going to shine in that game. And um, one thing about about uh, Ateta. These changes come late, and you get it. Eh? You see Pep Guardiola. Why I love Pep Guardiola is that when he sees a mistake, the changes come. And even in the 50th minute, a change comes in. So, sir, That's the thing. Remember? Even against Southampton, against Southampton, he should have brought uh, Trossard earlier. He should have even removed uh, what's his name, Saka, after uh, or even against West Ham after missing that penalty. There was no need to keep him in the game. Yes, he was not going to be good mentally, but remove him. You've seen Mahares being removed by Pep when he has missed penalties. What happens? He removes him straight away if he's having a stink of a game. Takes him maybe behind the scenes. He talks to him. Ateta, you make a mistake in the public. He comes, he hugs you. I don't know what he does behind the scenes or what. Sometimes I think he needs to go hard on these players. You go so soft like that, I think they're going to be making these mistakes, uh, mistakes every time. So, man, I think it's just because uh, he's young, he's learning in the game. This is his first, first uh, job. And uh, I think... Second, second is not bad. We will take it because this phase three of the build-up. I hope uh, of the process. I hope in the phase four we would have unlocked new things that would have 
uh, improve the team, uh, built on the depth, and then we'll go again next season. You see now, Eric Tang. You remember when Man U beat Manchester City? You saw how uh, KBD was locked by um, Fred. Fred, yeah. Locked in until that he forgot that uh, this guy was still in the play. That's why he gave a, 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 a. You remember he gave an assist in that game because uh, Fred failed to overlap. But when he was the yeah, game, yeah, that was when it, it crossed it yeah, for Greenwich, yeah. But now when you watch the game throughout, you find that KBD, KBD did not have even a second to pass a ball. Because every time uh, he goes, uh, everywhere he goes, you get Fred is following him. So now mm. the mistake uh, Mateta did was uh, he didn't identify the big players in the uh, Manchester City team. First of all, when you're caught, you're going to play against a good team, or you're playing against you're going to mess up stand on Those are the players you need to lock. Because if you don't lock them, anytime they can. You see, you see the goal of KPD. The first goal that was a weak, a weak move because I expected uh, a defender to fold him before he goes up to the okay near the box. He passed among us around three players. You just take that risk as a defender. You remember the, 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 the defenders like um, Carver, they, they put you down before you reach the box. So, one thing as no didn't do was putting him down before reaching the box because who was on the yellow card. Behind, behind the defenders there. No one was on a yellow card. No one. They had to take one for the team. Yeah. Because, and he was not the last man. He could have taken a risk. You get it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's all done. Do you your last remarks on the game before we run through the other games? Um, uh, I think all I can just say is um, it's a young team. Um, you guys got there by mistake and um, things happen the way it happened. Um, chances are high. If Jesus comes back, Arsenal is on the table. So We had Jesus in the, in the field today and nothing happened. So, what Jesus are you talking about? The Christ, man. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the Jesus that was on the field today. I love Arsenal, man. I love uh, Tony, man. You guys are the best, man. <laughs> we are. Arsenal is not a bad team. Uh, my talk is Arsenal is a bad team. What Arsenal needs is uh, bringing in uh, experienced players. Because now, when the goal, they let the, the three goals go in, you see the young players who are funny. That, that, I, 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 think, I think that's one of the biggest problems of us, you know, I've seen lately. Ever since they got those three draws, there's that panic mode, which is very good. Um, you put pressure to get goals, but also sometimes you open up so much. You really open Let up so you, much. There's a pundit who said, Arsenal's collapse began when they started looking at Manchester City and their results. Remember when Arsenal was playing, they were just minding their game, yes. game by game. That was it. That the challenge they did was they started looking at Manchester City and then it all collapsed. So everything they were doing is like, if you do this, Man City is going to do this. They're going to over. They're going to leave progress, and then it, indeed it has happened. Tony, you see, you see why now you see why you guys need experienced players. That men, that mentality, like whereby you'll be like, guys, calm down. I've been there before. But these guys, they actually been thinking of uh, Man, City, Man City for the last one month. It's in their head. Every time they play a game, they're like, we need to win this game so that when we reach to City, we give them a draw or something. And, we, and then after, we can win other games. It messed with them. And every time they will just want to score goals, they want to go in front, they open up. Like the other first goal you guys considered in the previous game. It is the fa- fastest ever goal in Premier League. And it's, so it was all because of panic. Nothing else just panic, you get. So I, I feel like uh, you need that little mentality in the, in, in the, what, in, in the team. Just look at the United game. When, when um, United was playing Brighton, when they asked who's going to take the first penalty, Casemiro said, I'm going to be the one. Everyone are jammed. People refuse. He put his hand. He went and took it. Just to you know, show guys there's nothing. Guys were panicking. He was the one looking at the what? 
the goalkeeper, but the rest are turned their back. Uh, already you guys have uh, Jojino. I hope he will be there for long. Is is he on loan or you guys bought him? No, he's okay. permanent. He has he has signed a two year deal. Yes, and, and I and I feel understand. like I feel like he should have started that game. He should have started Instead that of Jaka, game. Instead yes, he should have. Thank you. Because me, Jaka I, I feel is like just from, I don't know. Jaka is just from an injury. Then you put yes. him straight away in the game. He doesn't look fit. He's not much fit. Why do you start him? Not I actually had. I had a suggestion of starting Zinchenko in the middle and putting Tierney on the on, on the left bar. That was that was that was my thing. If 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 Jorginho couldn't start, but you know, like PJ said, I am not the manager, so there's nothing I can do. By the way, if if Zench, Zench played in the midfield, uh, you guys had uh, Jorginho and the, and the Odegaard. Trust me, and and also Pate. Trust me, you guys, you, you would you would pull something from that game. At least a one zero, even a draw. But I, I felt like I've may, maybe even Ateta is now overthinking things. He's not overthinking. He's just being arrogant. He knows he's going to play a team that is superior than him. You have to be pragmatic. The only time he beat Manchester City, he played with three defenders at the back. He had to sit back, hit them on the counter, and it worked out. Alba scored two goals against them in, uh, in the semi-finals at Wembley. What happened? Beat Manchester City comfortably. He didn't want to learn from that. So. Maybe, maybe, maybe like they say, he registered the trophy in Man City's name. <laughs> well, there's no problem if the tro- trophy was registered in Man City's names. They can now go and have their trophy in peace, and then we we'll go again next season. I hope we'll, we'll be much better. So, if you're liking the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, share the content as well, comment, turn on the notifications, smash the like button. And tell a friend about the pod. Arsenal 4, Manchester City 1. Other results in London. <laughs> Chelsea was beaten 2 0 by Brentford. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, Chelsea was beaten 2 0 again. So I think uh, Chelsea might also fire the interim manager, Alex Spurs did. I think I can have a consolation of them, but I think they had nothing to lose, so they lost the game. Mr. Mr. Liverpool, your volume is very low. I barely can hear what you say. I, I, I was saying, I was saying that uh, I've never seen an interim coach being fired for the first time. Of uh, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> Chelsea, I think. As far as, yeah, first did yeah. it. Yeah, now Lampard is late. You, you never know. Tomorrow you wake up when Lampard is good. So you are here to witness more things. <laughs> the second one. There's a, there are a lot of things that have happened this season, honestly. Yeah, and... do, do, do you know Do you know Lampard is the first coach hmm, appointed to come and lose you five games for no good reason? Just to show that me, I'm good, to, I'm good at losing. Now, no, uh, one thing about that is that uh, you see, um, apparently, all the Premier League teams have been, have invested in their team. So now there's no big team in Premier League. Maybe let's say Man City. Yeah, but they can be beaten anytime. Can 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 we are, we are beating Man City in June. We are, we are beating Man City in June. They will beat them, yeah sure. Do you think that both of move uh, <laughs> We're keeping that one, no, don't worry, we shall keep it here. <laughs> Go on, go on, Mr. Liverpool. Yeah, I, I was saying, <laughs> so any team can be beaten. Now look at the teams like um, Bournemouth, who have been took out uh, on the relegation zone. They are now number 15. Now, what do you think about that? Bournemouth, you look at um, Wolves. So, so when you look at, you know that Premier League is a little bit competitive. So there's no small team in Premier League. It's all about your tactics. Can I, can I tell you another shocking result as well? Nottingham Forest beat, uh, beat Brighton three goals to one. Did you watch that game as well? Did you see it? So there were a lot of surprises today. Yes, Nottingham beat uh, a Brighton three goals to one. I did see that coming. They beat them three one. So honestly, the, the relegation battle is like the most interesting thing to watch right now. Oh, right Wait, now, man. What do you think? <laughs> teams to avoid is uh, the relegated team. Because apparently, they fight 
their pants down. They have they nothing to lose. They are just coming to come and throw everything at you. That's it. What the game ball was against us. That last goal, the guy was composed like he has never been relegated. Like he's not in the relegation zone. <laughs> He had nothing to lose. What did you expect him to do? I'm sure he took this that goal. But the guy controlled the ball. Touch one touch in the box in the, in the net. I was I was like, yeah, these teams are good. <laughs> That's why. Anyway, yeah. and then another result. Mr. Liverpool, your game. You guys survived uh, a draw. Uh, Bowen's Golos. Uh, Okay, it was ruled out, I think, correctly. And Liverpool managed to go home with the win. 2-1. Yeah. Uh, 2-1 yeah. or 3-2? Three, three, two. Two. 2-1. It was 3-2? It was 2-1. It was 2-1. 2-1. Really? But yeah, it was 2-1. Yeah, it ended 2-1. Yeah, two, one. yeah I, I like... I, like um, I can tell you something about now, uh, Klopp. His change comes very fast. You see now, uh, he realized that Jota was not performing in the game. So he needed to bring uh, Diaz. He brought Diaz into the game. The goals didn't come after bringing him, but the team was composed. They were possessing the game. They were holding the ball. In. That was the most important thing. I don't know why I love Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. When the player is not performing, the change comes very fast. You get it? Exactly. You don't have to stick there and be like maybe unless he's a big big game player like Salah or. Haaland who just show up in one moment and he scores. Those are the players who live in the game. Uh, but 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 with the likes of Jose Mourinho, you know, you're a big player and things are not working out. You remember Jose Mourinho puts a sub- substitute in and he again substituted the guy. You remember that saga? He knows yes. when he tells you what to do, you follow it up. I can work, I can tell you that the, the game Jose Mourinho beat um, Barcelona three one. Barcelona had one of the top players who say, yeah, this is the team. But because these tactics were working, the number three covers me up. Uh, even a midfielder covers you up. So you don't have a space. You go where the, play, the, the top player goes. Okay. Now, um, the most important thing as a coach is that make fast changes. When you see a mistake, you change. You don't sit and learn. You say maybe the guy will pull a trigger. Unless he's a, but- he's a top yeah, it happens. It's football. That is how it is. <laughs> happens. So, anyways, it's mathematically. I think is it mathematically impossible or it is still possible for Arsenal to unless pull Man City, off. Yes, yeah. I, unless Man City loses the next two games and maybe draws the the, the 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 next two, which is not happening. So, it's mathematically possible, but it can't happen. So, I think we call it a year now. Um, you, you could say that. You could say it's not possible. Also, you don't know what will happen. Um, there's still a chance. But the, it's now very narrow. There's a chance, by the way. There's a chance. Just that um, it, it's it's in record. It's in record in people's heads. City will not lose a game. City is not going to pick a draw. City is going to win all their, their next games. And with the fact that everyone is thinking that way, they ha- the only game people thought City would lose is the Arsenal game. You get? No, it was not even going to happen. But but, but it's possible. It's possible that it could happen. Nothing is happening. City has been handed over the trophy, and then we call it we call it a yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, the club that has been the club team that has been beating City. Was a team that ha- that was so energetic. It had experience and young people, athletic people. They knew how to beat Man City. That was it. Not like this small naive Arsenal team. Uh, our guys got emotional. That was it. And they were just looking at Man City. They could look at City and they just shiver. So we could talk about this thing the whole night, the whole day. But yeah, that's team. Don't don't give up yet. I want to I want to give you something some. Uh, 411 coming from Mikey Bender, one of the biggest uh, uh, Arsenal fans. So he's saying, you sell Inketia, sell Inketia, buy a two-up striker who can finish better than Jesus, uh, get a better version of Xhaka, a right-footed, get holding go, sign Saliba's substitute, 
keep Tini by Saka's competition. Give Smith Roy only one year. If he doesn't perform, sell him by party's substitute. Do you think he's right? That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at another center back, right? Center back. And then we need uh, a Declan Rice or a Caicedo. And then we need an Aussie man. And then we need, um, let's say, which, which player? Sunny. You can, if, you, if you want to behave like a big team, go in that day, Sunny. There's Gnabry. You can get one of these guys. Put him in the team. That's the man, thing. Man, Jesus man, is man, man is free. Why don't you get him? You see now. I don't know. See now, uh, one thing is that uh, a big team is defined by its squad depth. You know that? The bigger the squad depth, the, the, the good the team is. I think it's recent. You saw, you saw the bench of Manchester United, Manchester City recently when they were playing. Uh, they were playing their a, a semi-final. The people on the bench, you know, yeah, this is a good team. They almost uh, leave alone that. It. I said earlier on in the pod, they removed Bernardo, they put in Maharis. They have removed Grealish, they put in uh, Foden. They removed KDB, they put in Alvarez. They are all the same. So. Man, just end the stream, man. <laughs> why, are you, why are you frustrated? Why are you frustrated? End the stream, end the stream, end the stream. End the stream. You're making me repeat the same thing, the same thing. So, guys, thank you so much for coming on to the pod. I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Uh, Manchester United plays, uh, actually, yeah, Manchester, Manchester United plays Fuzz. Uh, Top four fight, I think it's going to be a good game. It's a game I'm going to watch and also have a fun time for so man. End the stream.